Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at the Italian Cultural Garden, and we're here with James Levin. James, thank you for having us today. Uh, thank you for having me, Mr. Mulready. It's always a pleasure. You're doing uh, another festival. You and I worked together a couple of times, Ingenuity Fest, way back in the day, Performance Art Festival. Of course, you started Cleveland Public Theater, Shakespeare in the Zoo. We don't have time to really cover your entire resume, but... Now you're doing a whole new thing. What What's this One World Fest you're working on? Boy, has got to do something before I go out to pasture. Uh, one World Festival here at Rockefeller Park, uh, one of the great underused resources of the city. People drive by on Martin Luther King or on East Boulevard day after day on the way to the shoreway. They might notice the flags. They might notice the trees or the lovely gardens here, but they don't really take the time to really explore uh, when Lois Moss did an event uh, some time ago called w Walk and Roll, uh, she got maybe six, seven hundred people, maybe even a thousand people on bicycles going back and forth, and that showed that there really was some kind of interest here. And people might not realize, but there's 30 active gardens here, each f uh, representing a different culture or country, each with its own association. And in the last, I don't know, four or five years, they've been funneling quite a bit of money on landscaping. Uh, general aesthetics. Behind me at the Italian Garden, the fountain actually works. I remember coming down here uh, maybe 10, 12 years ago, and the, not just the Italian Garden, and I'm trying to pick on them, they're, they've been wonderful. But many of the gardens were in disarray, the fountains didn't work, the, a lot of the statues had been desecrated somehow or vandalized. And the, in the last two, three years, the associations individually have done a wonderful job in um, upkeeping, maintaining, and improving the gardens and uh, so this festival really comes along at the right time it's a great time to showcase these places that have been uh, beautifully uh, renewed they've been doing a one world day here for what 66 years now and, and they they um, bring folks in uh, from I mean this is when they they become citizens right they do they bring folks in from Beechwood and uh, Parma uh, I'm just teasing uh, the, the One World Day has been going on. This will be the 66th annual day, as you just said. Um, and normally what's happened is that they highlight the culture, food, beverages of any one garden. Last year it was the Irish Garden. And uh, normally maybe two, three, four hundred people come. And it's a very poignant event, the naturalization ceremony. Just uh, 40 or 50 about-to-be-naturalized citizens sitting on a stage. Their names are all announced individually. They, they stand up. They get their certificate. And... Uh, I mean, I'm as cynical as the next guy, <laughs> believe me, but there's something about somebody from, from West Africa, from the Philippines, from, uh, from Brazil, from Sweden, from India, one by one, coming up and getting their certificate. It's such a compelling way of, of realizing the diversity of this city in, uh, in, in such a visceral way. That's, it's a beautiful event. So, so they'll, that, that they'll, remains at the heart of this event. It, yeah. The One World Day, I don't mean to interrupt you, yeah. but the naturalization ceremony is actually going to be embedded in our event. And we're going to start it off with a, with a, a beautiful parade that's going to include the Shaw High School Marching Band. Remember how we did that with Ingenuity? Um, the, they're one of the best in the world. We're going to have bagpipes and accordions and stilt walkers and belly dancers and a uh, horses, and uh, it's going to be an old-fashioned, wonderful US par USA parade uh, from the Irish Garden to the African American Garden, not a long distance, maybe seven-tenths of a mile, and then the naturalization ceremony will follow that. So you're going to be actually closing uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard between St. Clair and Superior. You're putting, what, two main stages on it and a bunch of smaller stages? Actually, MLK will be closed only for the parade. And that's going to be from maybe 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. The rest of the time it will be slowed down, not stalled. Uh, East, parts of East Boulevard will be closed down. But you're right. We will have two main stages, one in the African American Garden just south of St. Clair. And the Irish American Garden main stage will be just north of Superior. So the heart of the festival will be basically between the African American and Irish stages or between St. Clair and Superior. You know, it's 250 acres. So if we did this inaugural festival over all 250 acres, you would come down here and say, 
Hey, I thought the festival was going on. Where is everybody? But if, you, if we condense it to maybe a third of the acreage like we are doing, it'll feel a little bit more condensed and there'll be a little more combustion and feel a little bit more like a festival. And in addition to these two main stages, there'll be performing areas in the Greek garden and the Hebrew garden, uh, in the um, British garden where we're going to be featuring Shakespeare for the first time in 50 years, Shakespeare in the Shakespeare garden. Uh, and in the lower Italian garden, we're going to be featuring opera and a salsa dance and all kinds of cool stuff. So you've got a bunch of stuff. You've got sports, right? Wine and beer from around the world, nature photo walk, taiko drumming, trivia contest. I mean, you, it, there's a lot of events going on during this one day, August 25th, with about 3 to 8 p.m. Well, it's actually noon to 8 p.m. The naturalization ceremony, and the parade will start at 1. So sort of the real opening will be 1 o'clock. Okay. But noon until dark is the time of the festival. Uh, but you're right, instead of just art and music, we wanted to offer the foods and beverages of these different countries, so we're going to be doing that. We do have an alcohol permit, uh, and we'll have three alcohol tents. But instead of just consuming the culture and music and art and food and beverages, we like the idea of people actually doing stuff. So we're going to be offering uh, uh, demonstrations of bocce, uh, of basketball, of badminton. So these different communities from Asia, from Italy, uh, and, and from around here uh, will be offering tournaments and kind of demonstrations, inviting the public uh, to play as well as just watch. So I think that's real. That's cool. You know, it sounds great. I've enjoyed working with you for a long time now, <laughs> many years. And uh, it's it's just so great that you've taken this asset that's, that's sort of been underdeveloped, really, and underappreciated and really putting it out there. Thank you, Tom. I, I've enjoyed mentoring you, too, as well. It's been a privilege uh, bringing you along and showing you the ropes and teaching things. I don't know where were you on this one. I, you were partnered with me for the first two festivals. We got to do one more sometime. Well, I'm glad you're doing this, and and I'm glad somebody did. It's it's these are the kind of things you do are the ones that everybody wishes somebody would finally step up and do it. And you you have the guts to do it. You find the way to get the money. You find the way to pull people together. And uh, it's going to be a great day. Thank you for taking time here. I know you're busy with your planning. And uh, we're looking forward to it in, in August 25th. And uh, if the weather cooperates, we really do expect a great crowd. And I'd like to give a shout-out to both the Famicos Foundation and the uh, Cultural Garden Federation, which have been great partners. They both have major stakes in this community, in this neighborhood, and they've both been wonderful to work with. So come on down. Sounds great. Thanks for taking time. Thank you, Tom. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.